Hi everyone, I'm Annie with Intero with your Real Estate Insights for the week of August 31st, 2020. Now with so much going on this year, it's important to ask, how will the presidential election impact real estate? The year 2020 will be remembered as one of the most challenging times of our lives, a worldwide pandemic, a recession causing historic unemployment, and a level of social unrest perhaps never seen before have all changed the way we live. Now, only the real estate market seems to be unaffected. Now, as a new forecast projects, there are more homes purchased this year than last year. Now, as we come to the end of this tumultuous year, we're preparing for perhaps the most contentious presidential election of the century. Today, it's important to look at the impact past presidential election years have had on the real estate market. So, is there a drop off in home sales during a presidential election year? Now, BTIG, which is a research and analysis company, looked at the new home sales from 1963 through to 2019 in their report titled One House, Two House, Red House, Blue House. Now, they noted that in a non-presidential year, there is a negative 9.8% decrease in November compared to October. Now, this is normal seasonality of the market with a slowdown in activity that's usually seen in fall and winter. However, it's also revealed that in presidential election years, the typical drop-off actually increases to negative 15%. Now, the report explains why. Uh, it says that this may indicate that potential home buyers may become more cautious in the face of national election uncertainty. Well, are those sales lost forever? No. Uh, BTIG actually determined that this caution is temporary and ultimately results in deferred sales as the economy, jobs, interest rates, and consumer confidence all have far more meaningful roles in the home purchase decision than a presidential election result in the months that follow. Now, in a separate study done by Myers Research and Zonda, Ali Wolf, the chief economist, agrees that those purchases are just delayed until after the election. History suggests that the slowdown is largely concentrated in the month of November. In fact, the year after a presidential election is the best time of the four-year cycle. Now, this suggests that demand for new housing is not lost because of election uncertainty, rather it gets pushed out to the following year. So, will it matter who is elected? To some degree, yes, but not in the overall number of home sales. As mentioned uh, earlier, uh, consumer confidence plays a significant role in a family's desire to buy a home. Now, how may consumer confidence impact the housing market post-election? The BTIG report covered that as well, saying that a change in administration might benefit trailing blue county housing dynamics. The re-election of President Trump could continue to propel red county outperformance. Again, Overall sales should not be impacted in a significant way. So, bottom line, if mortgage rates remain near all-time lows, the economy continues to recover, and unemployment continues to decrease, the real estate market should remain strong up to and past the election. So, if you have any questions or real estate needs, please feel free to contact me. I would love to help. And after all, it's not just property, it's your lifestyle. Bye-bye from me.